What's up, everybody? Dan Greer, Clips DOT, coming at you today from... Oh, hey, I'm still in Des Moines, Iowa. Anyways, checking you guys out. Having a lot of fun here. Um, one of the things I want to chat with you a little bit about today was the utility exemption. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about shore hog exemption. I've talked a little bit about an ELD exemption, electronic logging device. Okay, and now I'm talking a little bit about the utility exemption. Now, the utility exemption is only used when you're working on existing utilities okay and what the utility uh, i can't even talk y'all it's not even man I mean, it's light it's getting dark up here but like the utility exemption what it does is it says that if you're working on an existing utility you are exempt from all hours of service okay it means you don't have to do any anything to deal with hours of service now it doesn't mean you can be unsafe it doesn't mean you can drive 24 hours it doesn't mean you can do any of that crap what it means is that you're exempt from the time cards you're exempt from um, rods, record due status. You're exempt from ELDs. Now, let's say that I'm a power company out here dealing with some rural electric co-ops right now, and they're killing it, man. These guys are so fun. I love talking to these guys. They're like one of my favorite groups to talk to. Anyways, um, <laughs> I hear chatting with these guys, and they're like, dude, Dan, we always work on existing stuff. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Have you guys ever installed a brand new line for new service to a house? They're like, oh, yeah, all the time. Okay, well, here's the thing. If it's a new line, new poles to a new house, that's actually not existing service unless you tie in to the services there, okay? So if you're tying into the existing service and you're repairing it, that's where utility exemption comes in. But if you're going to install a brand new line from a, brand, from a substation, that is no longer existing. That's brand new. So that means that you would not qualify for the utility exemption under that. You'd have to fill out record of duty or, you know, be short haul for that time frame, Okay. So utility exemption is really good. It's for anything that deals pretty much with final mile to the people. Final mile is not the right way to put it, but like utilities, gas, sewer, water, electric, that kind of stuff. Um, that's all utilities, okay? That means you're all exempt from whenever you do that kind of stuff. Anything that deals with the public service to them, you know, even roads are considered utilities. So if you're out doing some road work, stuff like that, you're actually exempt from it as well. Um, hopefully... That provides some clarification. If you have questions on the utility exemption and whether you qualify for it or not, reach out to us. Okay? All right. Talk to you guys later.